What up bitches, it's your boy Zero Master here with more Necropara Volume 1. <sighs> yeah, I know, that was lame, but, uh, <clears throat> but, um, gotta try it at least once, right? Anyways, the gang's all here now, so... Including Shigure and Cinnamon. <sighs> but Coconut's here, so everything's good. Because, uh, coconut makes up for the other two. Anyways. Oh, no. I don't think you actually mean that. I think you mean something else is simply the best. I'm watching you, too. The best, you say. See? Even I, even the main character that I play, Kasho, doesn't fucking... Even he doesn't fucking believe it. Suddenly, the bakery was at max capacity. Not, ugh. Not to mention they were all family. Uninvited, uninvited family at that. As usual, Shigure smiled and greeted me with polite words. My little sister is, as a rule, calm and courteous. There are times when she acts strange, though. Acting strange doesn't even describe it. <sighs> it's only been a few days. How did you even find this place? I didn't tell you. Did, did you fucking see that? Did you fucking see that? How her eyes snapped forward? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. No. <sighs> I was dreading this day. Not this day. I was dreading getting to this part. <sighs> but I didn't think it'd be right away. <sighs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Sorry for the gross noises. Look, I don't have time for that stuff right now. Stop it. Don't make me bring Filthy Frank back. She great placed her hand over her mouth. A piece of paper fell from her kimono to the ground. What is that? Wait, I haven't distributed these yet. As I said that, I suddenly realized something. This is your doing, isn't it, Vanilla? It would... You mean to tell me... You told Shigure and Cinnamon where I was. If you couldn't tell, I was trying to get away from them. And now, I'm pissed. You're on the shit list now, Vanilla. I was starting to like you, but this? Even though you brought Coconut. Even though Coconut's here. I said I'd deal with this. And it's time to stop. And when I say it's time to stop, I'm referring to Cinnamon. She so better watch herself. You better watch yourself, Missy. I swear to God, if you pull this shit again, that's it. I'm done with you. 
you're officially on the shit list. So when she disappeared at the drugstore the other day, she had slipped out to send the card to Shigure. Huh. That's why she said objective achieved and evaded my question. So earlier when I couldn't get a hold of you, and Chocolate and Manella stowing away in the boxes, this was part of your plan? So Vanilla fucking betrayed me. I can't fucking believe this shit. I'm pissed. I moved out to get away from her. I just... I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Well, let's go on. Yeah, I bet you'd fucking like that, you trash. What do you mean, firm yet kind? Sometimes I have no idea what my little sister is talking about. Well, she's always been like this, so I let it slide. Still. Oh, I'm not letting it slide. You can let it slide, main character dude, but not me. Well, it was also wrong of me to move out without saying anything to you. I awkwardly scratched my cheek while looking away. As I do in anime. She's been such a clingy, adoring little sister in the past that people even made fun of her for it. That's why I had to use such a roundabout, high-handed tactic. Tactic. I can't talk. I'm so pissed. In a sense, she she worried about me more than even Chocolat and Vanilla. That's why I didn't really feel like complaining. But it does not excuse the fact that you used Vanilla... to get to me. Every time I hear more about this whole plan, I'm just getting more upset. <sighs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to use this for the video. But I'm I'm doing something right now. This is me saying fuck you. Fuck you. Alright, now that I got that out of my system, let's continue. It's only been a few days, so nothing really happened. Shigure had a gallant smile on her face. I rubbed her. No, fuck that. I punched her in the face. She let out a small laugh and smiled. It must have felt good for her as it does for the cat girls. <sighs> Because I don't want her to be anywhere near me. Don't you get it? I want her to be far, far away from me. I should move to another country or something. Good. Wow. Really? Fuck Shigure. 
fuck her. So not only did she get Vanilla to betray me, use her to find out where I'm here, she's now starved the other cats because she didn't know where I was. Now, you could use the defense and say that she thought I had been kidnapped or something like that. But I don't think so. Why would all my stuff be gone? Ed, leave. That just pisses me off even more. This character is trash. I hate her. Yeah, apparently worried enough not to feed you guys. Look, I know you're technically grown adults in cat girl years, but like, and should be able to fend for yourself. But when it is her job to look after you, and she clearly avoids doing that because she has an unhealthy attachment to her older brother, that's sick. That's, she needs help. And you guys aren't helping by not doing anything about it. In fact, you should be doing something about it because now your health is going to be in jeopardy. This is this entire situation is not healthy. That again sounds like somebody who needs help. As we've already established, she's fucking nuts. So the last thing I would have done when I'm trying to get away from someone like that is give them my address. You guys are fine. Shigure is a whole nother story. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm not progressing very far, but do you see this bullshit? This is sick. Like, I'm pissed. Right now. Again, that wasn't the case. I need to get as far away from her as possible. And you should all run too. Typical, typical cat girl. The males are the troublesome ones. Okay, now I'm just getting ridiculous. The two of them deliberately raised their hands and grinned at me bitterly. Except for you, you got this like cat grin thing going on. That's a pretty cool picture. It's pretty cool. Azuki and Maple were being a little too harsh, but even so, I didn't try to argue it. Sorry about that, Azuki. Maple. I already feel guilty enough as it is, so lay off, okay? <laughs> you better. You fucking better not say something sexual after this. I swear to God. I'm trying not to be mad at you, Coconut, but you should have stopped them. You're mature. You should have stopped them. Though, to be fair, you were effective. Actually, try to go looking for me. Cinnamon, Coconut, I'm sorry to have worried you guys, too. Won't happen again, so please cut me some slack. I lowered my head towards Cinnamon and Coconut. And just like that, all the cat girls in my family were assembled. Right, 
appreciate the warmth of having my family here right now. Our father obviously hasn't done anything about you. So he's not the one I'm worried about. I appreciate it. you've been through a lot, though. Sorry. Please don't. Please don't. Or I'll get a restraining order. She wrapped her small hands around my hand. She didn't say anything about me slipping out without telling anyone. She simply just forgave me. Even my little sister seems to have grown up well. Flawless at all. Flawless at that. <sighs> at least somebody in the family has some sense. We should probably call my mom, yeah. Alright, I'll do that. Maybe I will do that next time on Zero Plays. It's time for another break. <sighs> yeah, it's time for another break. <laughs>